It doesn't say Ralph Banner and Anthony Nafi Dunya Akir. Give us the Akir first. It says the Dunya because this is the proving ground, right? Depend on what we do in this life, right? Those who believe and do good deeds in this life will determine whether you're going to have gardens under which rivers flow or you're going to be in a hellfire, right? Or you're going to be giving your book in the right hand and the left hand, right? So this life is very, very important. And that's the balance of Islam. Not extreme, because then it says, well, feel accurate hasana. And give us that same hasana, H-S-N. That's the root. The hard age, the seen, the new. It doesn't change. It says, keep it consistent. See, Islam, Muslims are balanced. The deen is balanced. Straight across the board. The best now and the best later. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So we pray from Quran. Oh, our Lord. You see, we're collective. We're team. We're ummah. You think of all. Even in the greeting, I greet this brother, he's an individual. Individual, right? But I still say, Assalamu alaikum. Plural, group. Care would be individual. But when you say, Assalamu alaikum, that's group. Even though you're looking at one person, you don't change it. Say, Assalamu alaikum. And then in our most often said prayer, Shep and Medania, that we have to say in every raka, what do we say? We say, You alone do we worship. And you alone do we seek for aid, right? If the Nasirata Mustaqim. If the Nasirata Mustaqim. If the Nasirata Mustaqim. Guide us on the straight path. You praying by yourself. Where's the us? To remind you, you're part of an Umar, you're part of a community. And Muhammad the Prophet was asked, how should we acknowledge you? He said, and we close out the Salat with this. Oh Allah, make Muhammad successful. And the followers of Muhammad successful, his family, followers. As you did make Ibrahim successful. And the followers of Ibrahim successful, right? He didn't just say me, even though we know there's room for that. But in the Salat. And he said, and bless Muhammad. He didn't stop there, did he? He said, and bless the followers of Muhammad, just like you blessed Ibrahim and the followers of Ibrahim, alayhi salam. One Umar. And Allah said in Surah 20, 21 and 23, this Umar of yours, umet tukum, of yours. He didn't say mine, umet tukum. This Umar of yours, umet tukum, where he doing? Is one community of yours, you, Kum, and I am your Rabbi. So therefore, worship me. So the dua, and of course, there's personal that you can say, Rabbi, for me, you know, because even when we go here, we go, Subhanah, Rabbi, I mean, go into Mama, Rabbi. But do a Rabbi, oh, our Lord. Give us the excellence. Because you want it shared. I can get the best in this life, but if anybody else ain't got it, you got a problem. But they're going to come for you. So Allah wants, so you say, you want the best for all of us. So we all be comfortable. It's, it's to at least have that mindset. And when we greet each other as an individual, assalamu alaikum. Peace be on you, physical, mental, spiritual. Peace be on you, your family, all of it. So, Rabbi and Auntie Nafi, Donia Hassanah, oh, our Rabbi, give us the excellence. And this word is so powerful. Like I said, we done talked about this Hassan, Hassan, Hussein, all of that, the hard age, the seen and the new, right? Hassan, Hassan. That Allah used that same word when He said to Him, belongs the best of names. To him be his husband. It's the most pretty, the best, the excellent of names. And that's what we ask for the best. But not only that, Allah, Allah says, Allah says, Lafat Kalab Nala Sanafi Hasani Tahwin in Surah 10, the fifth. 
I've created you, brother, sister, husband, in the best upright statue, right? Alhamdulillah, Rebbe Alami. Allah says, Laka, definitely. Laka, Qalak Nal Insana Fi Hasani Taqwim. Hasani, Hasani, right? I've definitely created you in the best. And inshallah, the surah we're going to be in, we're going to see where Allah says, and I made your forms most beautiful. I created you and I made your forms, your structure, your, your, your form, physically, mentally, spiritually. He said, I'm the one who gave you your form. And so at 3, Ali Imran, Allah says, it is he who forms you. So Rakum, who forms you in Adaham, in the womb as he pleases. But then here where we're going to a 40, he said, not only did I form you, but I made your forms most beautiful. Using the same word, hustle. Excellent. So be grateful for how you look, who you are. Your inner being. All that makes you up. Allah made it beautiful. So, dear believers, again, what I've been acting after doing your hustle thing, why I've been acting after your hustle thing, why can't have that been now? Oh, our Lord, oh, our sustainer, give us the best in this life. And give us the best in the next life. And protect us from the torment of the hellfire. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So, dear believers, we pray again, Allah, accept our Juma today, the Kutbah and the Salat, and cleanse our hearts and our minds that our intentions will be clean and honorable, and strengthen our community of believers. As Allah said in the Quran, not only you one community, he says that he put love between the believers. Speaking to Muhammad the prophet, love between the believers that no one else could put there if they gathered everything else in this earth to do it. Among believers, in a way that we may not even know. So, dear believers, and just listening to the Adhan, Allah said he had made Quran easy to remember. This deen is not to be a burden on you, but to remove the burdens off of us. And it's repetition, right? El Fatiha, over, over, and every. And even when he called the Adhan to become a Muslim, we take Shahada, right? Shahada. To witness is the Kalima, right? That, you know, Kalam Kelly man his word. Structure wise, the the Kelly man, La ilaha illallah. Kalamatain to La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Right? That's the first pillar, if you would. Then prayer and all that, right? Now, when we take Shahada, we witness to the Kalima. We witness La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. But as a reminder to us, we hear that in every salah, in the Adhan, in Allah. It's Shaddu, not just La ilaha illallah. He's saying it, the weapon is saying it every time he calls. We're saying it when we do it at home or whatever we do it. But you're hearing but look how, how, how powerful it is. And the word adhan is associated with the word adhan, 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 ears. That's why most times they're ready to the ear. So the emphasis is put on hearing. Right? So the more than do this, right? Most times go to the ear. Let you know the emphasis is on listening. When you want to carry something, you do this, right? Now you may see people in modern time do all kinds of things, right? But it's here. Because as then, the aleph, the thou, and the noon come from the same as as the and the as ears. That's why it come from the same root, same root, right? Ulum, ears, right? But it said, listen, listen.
sin. And how do we know it's about him? When we come up here, what do we say? Send me to Allah, who live in heaven, Dad. Allah here. Send me that, send me. Send me Allah, who live in heaven, Dad. Allah hears those who praise him. And for us, it's listening, right? So it say, I heard the call to Islam. And it's saying, many are called, but few are chosen. So in the event, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, right? Right here. First thing we hear. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, North, East, South, West, Universal, four, right? Now after you know Allah is greater, now you say what? Heshadu in la ilaha illallah, right here. In case you didn't get it. Heshadu in la ilaha illallah, come in the bases, right? Left ear. That's what Allah say, we create you two ears. Ashadu and the Muhammad of Rasulullah. We shadu and the Muhammad of Rasulullah. Power! That's in the event, right? Ashadu and the Muhammad of Rasulullah. Haya salat. And it's where Haya is life. Haya, Allah is called Al Hayu Al Qayyum, right? And Ayatul Kursi. So it say, come alive to Salat. That salat is your source of life. Hayya salat, hayya salat. Physical, mental, right here, left here, right? Hayya. Even though loosely it say come to salat, it's saying liven up for salat. That proper worship is your source of life. Worshiping Allah, who you just said what? I witness there's none worthy of worship but Allah, right? And I witness Muhammad is his messenger. I witness Allah is the greater. Well, come alive to salat. It gives you life. Hayya salat. It say come, but it really means hayya. Allah al hayyu. Life. The source of life. Hayya salat. Hayya salat. Twice. If you didn't get it in this year, maybe wait another year. And does it change? Does the words change? No. So you hear life four times. Because then you say, Haya fella, haya fella. That proper worship, coming alive to proper worship, will give you a successful life. Fella, you, you hear the, your translator say success. Some would say cultivation, because fella is associated with farming. And if you farm and till the soil properly, you get a successful crop. Fella, so say haya fella. So it's, it, so what's tilling the soil? Salat is tilling the soul. Proper worship will give you a successful life, whether you realize it or not. On both levels, physical and spiritual. And that's what we say. Give us the best what? In this life and in the next, right? So you want to be successful in this life and in the next. How you ask for that? Come alive to a successful life. And you know, Allah says of believers, right? In Surah 23. Cut F like half. The believer will be successful because the believer is going to respond to proper worship, right? Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. And the Juma, when Allah finishes, I think it's ayat 9 or 10 in Surah Juma 62, Allah says, after it's over with, disperse, seeking the bounties of Allah, thinking on Allah a lot. So you will be successful. That's how, when it talks about Juma, the last word is success. That all of it is about Muslim believers being successful, not unsuccessful. You understand, brothers and sisters? That's Quran. That's this deen, powerful, beauty. Allah said, had I revealed this Quran on a mountain of ignorance, it would shatter it. You would have seen it. Come down and shatter him and get you at the lie out of the field of Allah. Go read Surah 59. And Allah says he give parables that men may what? Yet defect their room. So you will reflect, not just pass it by. So, Shahada. 
So it's, it's witnessing to words, the power of words. You're not beat down. You don't cross the burning sand. It's the power of words. And it let us know, brother, that our word is the life. And we used to say, my word is my bond, right? And my bond is my life. And I will give my life before my word shall fail. That you connect it to your word. That's what we got. Alhamdulillah. And when you read Bakura, it's starting from Ayat 30, when Allah said to the angels, Jai Yun Filat De Khalifa. And if you go all the way down to the end on this page, I will flip to it. And it say, when Adam slipped, what did Allah send him? Kalimatin. He sent him words. He sent him Kalimatin. Go read his, his words. I don't want to flip the page, but that's what he said. And when he sent him words, what did he do? He made Tauba. And Allah forgave him. Alhamdulillah, remember that. I mean, so Shahada, you're a witness. And as a witness taking Shahada, we come perform Salat. And as a witness, we have to stand up. What does it say? Cut the camera to Salat. You know, come, come. Stand up for Salat. Because you're a witness, right? So you got to take the witness stand. And as a witness stand, you have to say what you saw, what you witnessed. And what is that? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I witness that everything is done with the name of Allah. Alhamdulillah. Now there are those that don't want you to witness against them. Because they got some scheme going, right? So they'll try to kill you, kill your spirit. Break up the thing, right? Because what you want to witness to put them out of business. They want us to praise somebody else. Right? They think they're gods and the power. But Allah said, no. Bismillahir Rahman. Every Raka. Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. With Allah's name, the merciful, the compassionate. Not the one that's squatting just to do you in. He's kind and merciful. So with his authority, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahir Rambil Alameen. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord Keeper of all the worlds. Then it goes back to the top, right? Oh Rahmanir Rahim. You're a witness. You done took Shahada, right? Now you stand. See, and it don't say sit for salat, right? It says, you the moon and salat. Those who establish the salat. And this position is called what? Gaum. Gaum. Kiyam. The upright position. Where you stand up and you're a witness. We're all witnesses, right? Now you stand up and you witness in the court of Allah. <laughs> And you know they translate it this way here. Malikiyom Middin. <laughs> Master of the day of what? The judge. Judgment. <laughs> well, you stand before the judge. And you're saying, Iyaka na budwa iyaka na stain. I'm at the mercy of the judge. Give me a break, right? You alone do we worship and you alone do we seek for aid. I always make mistakes. I commit sin. We all do. And Allah said, if I was to punish you for every mistake or sin you make, wouldn't be a creature left on this earth. So you standing there seeking Allah's mercy. I made a mistake. I committed a sin. I committed a sin every day. We all do, right? So when you stand, oh, I need mercy. I'm at the mercy of the judge. I done did all kind of wrong. But what's your intention? And you say, and look how it flows. Oh, Rahman, you Rahim, right? The merciful. Now you say to the merciful, I made mistakes, I couldn't sin, but you alone do I worship in my heart. And you alone do I seek for aid. If the Nasirata Mustaqim got us on the straight path. Now you in that, us. <laughs> You mean you don't say me, it's us, but you in 
at us. <laughs> Hope you're all right. Itna surata mustaki. Surata latina anam ta lehim bayu maktu bina lehim wala doni. And this is a beautiful day. So again, we pray Allah accept our Jumah today, cook by the Salat, cleanse our hearts and our minds, and our intentions clean and honorable. So Allah, not as He al Hayu al Qayyu, the living, Allah is totally independent. We're totally dependent on Allah. And always remember who's always in charge Allah, right? No matter what's going on. Nothing happens in us. This is his dominion. So quickly, we want to go to Surah 40, and it kind of ties in with everything that's coming off the cuff. Surah 40, the independent, al Ghaniyu, the independent. Allah is totally independent. So we look at Ayat. 64, inshallah, to 68, inshallah, if we have time. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allahu ladhi ja'alla lakum ul'anda qararin wa samai bina'in. I'll stop then and go. Flow will keep reading, but goodbye and stuff. Allah is he who has created Listen again. Lakum Adda has created for you the earth as a resting place. In another place, Allah, now that you say some translate as a carpet for rest. All that greenery, right? You can go look at some land so good, just like carpet, right? That's where you get the idea of carpet. As a resting place, horizontal, right? Horizontal. Allah said he created that for you. That's why we pray for the best in this life. He said the earth for you. As a, as a uh, resting place and the sky, they'll say as a canopy. Banana, going up, going up, banana. They'll say as a canopy, but one is showing horizontal and the other is perpendicular. Banana, building upright. It's the, level but they built in the same word muhammad the prophet islam was asked what is islam and he said boni al boni al islam al that is built on fire and when you think of the five one is built on the other right we believe in allah then you have to pray to allah right and then when you pray you give zakat which the word zakat means purification right zakih to purify and grow etc right so and Allah says so but he made it for you for us. And he says, I stop there, but now we go to something we mentioned earlier that Allah made your forms most beautiful. Listen to what Allah says. Wasarakum. And he has formed you. But listen, look how Allah emphasized. He has formed you for asana. Remember? Hasana. H S N, right? But this is just sentence stuff. For asana. So you're going to hear beauty again, right? Hassan, right? Rabbana Antin Afi Dunya Hassan, right? So he said, he has formed you, but look what he says. Fa'essana suwarakum. And he has made your forms most beautiful. You, you understand? So why wouldn't we pray Rabbana Antin Afi Dunya for the best? When Allah said he created you in the best, he made your forms the best. So why wouldn't he want you to pray for the best? I've made you the best. Don't ask for the less. Muhammad the Prophet said when a Muslim seeks to do something, he seeks to do the best. So Allah says, he made the earth a resting place and the sky the canopy. And then he comes to us. He said, I have formed you. I've given you your forms in the womb. How you going to be all that? Love it. He said, but I made it most beautiful. He mentions your form. I form you, but I made your form because he mentions it twice. Wasarakum fa asana suwarakum. I form you and I made it beautiful, excellent. 
واوره زك واوره زك طفتم من الطيباتي and I give you good provisions rosa provisions right provisions nourishment but listen to the word this here طيبه طيبه you know I say hey father how are you right and you say طيب good different from house right different from kind prior you say hey father How you? How you, brother? Right? How you, Mufi? How you? And you say, Taib. I'm good. So Allah says, not only did I form you, but you see how the words switch up? And Hassan, but also send down to you, I give you Razak Taib. I give you good provisions, fruit, vegetables, things to live with, right? And Allah says, Valikum Allahu Rambukum. فَتَبَارَكَ اللَّهُ رَمْبُ الْعَالَمِينَ Thus is Allah, your Lord. فَتَبَارَكَ Blessed is Allah, the Lord of all the worlds. And here, Grandma, we're going to show you something. We say, الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Right? that all of the worlds belong to him. Rabbi, you want to see that here. Here, Rabbu, that all of the worlds, he's, 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 he's the Lord of all the worlds. Rabbi, they belong to him. You, you know, just to give us an idea. It's my car, but it belonged to him because he rented it from me. But to make it clear, Allah says, I'm the Lord of all the worlds, Rabbu Alami. And then he says, Rabbi, Rabbi Alami. I'm the Lord of all the worlds, and all of those worlds I'm the Lord of belong to me, nobody else. <laughs> you want to see that language right here. But anyway, just moving here. Allah forms you, He made your forms in the bed, and He provides for us the good. And blessed be Allah, Rabbu Alami, Rabbu. The Lord of all the worlds. And then we'll do this next ayat, ayat 65, and close first part. Now listen to this. Who are Hayyu? Remember Hayyu. Hayyu, Salah, right? He is the living. Go read when you can, Surah 40, and uh, this ayat here, ayat 65, right? Of Quran, stay in Quran. Who are Hayyu? He is the living, he's the source of life. Well, who are Hayyu? La ilaha illa huwa fet 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 uhu muklisina lahudina. Yes, lahudina alhamdulillahi rambil alameen. He says, he is the living. You get it? And he says, there's none worthy of worship besides him. And he says, those who they, he says, so call on him, Muklisin and Lahudin, being sincere in the deen. You see, all of it belongs to him. So when you call on him in the deen, be sincere. Matters are judged by intentions. Allah knows. Be sincere, right? So when you call on him, call on the Lord of all the world. And you know how this is? It says, it says Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. All praises are due to Allah. Listen to the ground. Rabbil Alameen. Rabbi here. You see? The Lord who all the worlds belong to. You understand? He's the Lord of the world, Rabbu. But he says, Rabbi, all of it belongs to him. All of this, as we always point out from Surah Juma, Allah says, You said, Behold, Elahi, Matthew, Samawati, Wa Matthew, Arti, Meliku, Kudusul, Azizul, Hakim. That whatever is in the heavens and the earth, glorify Him as our Malik. All of this, no matter what it is, brothers, trees, plants, sun, viruses, whatever it is, all of this belongs to Him. This is His dominion. And He's in charge always. So Allah says, 
Be sincere in your deed. We living now, may die in a second. Be sincere and say, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasnatin wa fi akhirati hasnatin wa kin hadab inna alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulahi kabeem Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam abad. Uh, dear believers, in the second part, we'll finish these up before we close. So just keep this in mind, always from Quran. This Surah 40 here in Quran. Who's in charge? Who's the Lord of all the worlds? Remember, Alameen. And we say that in every, every Salat, right? We have to say it in Al-Fatiha, right? Alhamdulillah, Remember, Alameen. That all the worlds, rooted ill. Alameen, I of knowledge belongs to Allah. And so, I had 66. Allah says, okay, I'll skip around. Here, Allah says to Muhammad the Prophet, May the prayers and peace be upon him and to us through him. Muhammad the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Kul, inni nuhitu an a'bud al-ladhina Yes, a'bud al-ladhina yat'una min duni Allahi lama ja'anni al-bi Yes, bayyid, yes, bayyinatu mi rambi wa am, yes Wa ammiratu an uslima, us, yes, uslima li rambi alameen. Excuse me. He said, Muhammad the Prophet, he said to him, say, I am forbidden, I'm forbidden to call on or to worship that which you call on other than Allah. Especially after what? Lama ja'anniya. Bayana, especially after the signs have come to me. And that's why Allah says, oh, signs for yet that fact room for those who, who reflect. I'm forbidden to, to, to worship anything other. I'm like, I love you. We got good relations. But I'm forbidden to call on what you call on, sweetheart. <laughs> Mommy, daddy, right? I'm forbidden to do that. We keep good relations, but I'm forbidden to call on that. And Allah says, and, and, and he says, yes, uh, uh, and I am Mina Rambi. Yes, what he has commanded. And I submit, listen to this. Usli manli rambi alami. Right in those three ayats, you hear Ram Ram Rambi Alami. So first you hear Rabbu Alami, right? That Allah is the Lord of all the world. The other two you have, Rabbi, it's grammar. Rabbu, it belongs to me. Rabbu, I'm the Lord of all the world. Rabbi, all those worlds belong to me. And that's how this one here ends too. Uh, Rabbi, out of me. And I submit to the Lord who all of this world belongs to. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi, out of me. And so, and then after that, just reminded to us, my ears. And go back, go and read this soul when you can. Reminder, humble us. Allah says, and I'll just read in English. Allah says, It is he who falakakum min turabin. That Lord, right back out of me, all of what we've been reading, okay? Allah says, It is he, brothers and sisters, who created you from dust, turabin. Always remember where you came from. Allah said, if you die, I can raise you. Consider the fact. He said, it is he who created you to Robin. That he created you from dust. Then he created you from sperm. Going after the ovary, right? Then the third stage from Allah, that which cleans, right? The blood clot, they may call it, right? 
And then Allah says, Allah says, Thumma yukrijukum tiflin. Then after that process, I bring you out tiflin as a baby. Always remember where he came from. Allah reminded us after all. I gave you your shape. Boom, boom, boom. Now I bring you out as a baby. And then Allah says from that, Thumma liteplu teplu gu eshudakum. Then you become Shadi, right? You go up and you be a strong individual. And then Allah says, then you become older. Right? You strong. We reach that age, right? Whatever. We know what happens. And Allah says, and from some of you, you die. And then Allah says, for some is an appointed term. Listen to this. La'allakum ta'kilum. That the older we grow, the wiser we grow. That you get older and some die. But Allah lets some of us live, right? And the older you are, the wiser you are supposed to be. <laughs> Allah says, La alekum tactilum. Use your aku. You got more experience. And you might see that in a fighter in the ring. He got this, the young guy got the energy and the strength. But homeboy, no, he got a little more experience. He, he, can't, he can't take that hit now. <laughs> but he got a little more ring experience, right? And then I say, he only beat him because of the experience. His homeboy was bam! <laughs> and that's life, right? And a lot of tell us, respect the elders. Because you, if you live, you should grow wiser. And then in time, a lot know what, you know, tell us what happened with the two. So we close with this. Ayat 70, 68. Allah says, this is where I want to get. Who has led thee? You ye why you mean to? That Allah gives life. And that's what he said, Hayat. Yeah. But he also gives death. He gives life. But he also gives death. And we see death all the time, right? We see it now in this pandemic. It hurts us. We're losing loved ones. We're seeing other ones. That brother we know well, just we found him dead. You know, we know what's going on, whether it's corona, heart attack, death all around us. It seems to be even more now. We're seeing even more, right? But Allah says he gives life and death. He's the source of life and death. Nothing dies or is born without the will of Allah. But to show you this world here and to show us, just something for us. I thought about it on the way here. Do you know new life, a baby or something that's born, what? Every second? Every minute? There's new life being born, right? You may know it better than me. Every second, every minute, a baby is being born. The procreation. And somebody is dying. But where is the emphasis at? Is the emphasis on the new life or is it on the death? We feel and hear more about death. But how often do you hear them on TV say, hey man, there was just 10 babies born on Wayward Street in Newark. There was 10 babies born in California. When, when is the emphasis put on Allah's mighty creation of life? Allah says he made life and death. Of course, we're close to death. It hurts us. I lost this one. You lost that one. But Allah says he created life and death. There's a cycle. There's a process. So just as we feel death, which is something that Allah don't die. He's El Hayyu. He's not called the die, the death. He's the living. And he creates life. And he's responsible for death. But us as Muslims, we know it's just a transition to another life. We have to believe in the unseen, right? And although we pass in this life, we go to another life, right? And inshallah, a better place. But Allah says, I create life. And a baby is born to keep things going. The scientist, whatever he is, every second. But do we hear about that? Or the emphasis put on that? We know death is pain, but how beautiful is birth? When you hear about a little baby, right? And you see that little baby, you have the akika, whatever, right? Allah says, I create life and death. Put the emphasis where it belongs. We're born, and we're going to die. And we see death all the time. But how often do we see birth when they're both personal, right? Somebody died, that's somebody mother, somebody father, somebody loved one, right? When somebody is born, that's somebody's child, right? Cousin. So 
that came to me while I was saying, you know what? And don't get me wrong, I, mean, I lost loved ones. You know, we know how death, how it hurts, how it touches us. But also, there's another part. Life, that Allah created both. So you always turn to Allah. So Allah says, he created life and death. And he says, just for us when we close, when Allah ordains something, He just say, "Being it is." So let us keep that in mind. We see death; it hurts us, of course, especially with this pandemic. It's highlighted, and we're saying all kinds. Be careful. We. Do whatever good we can so when we are called back, we can go wherever Allah wants us to go of good. So, dear believers, also know that there's no life, physical, mental, and spiritual. That we come alive physically, but you also come alive mentally and spiritually. Say, man, I was mentally dead. I was out there in the dead. Well, Allah gave me life. And right now, he getting ready to say, got to come to Salah. And we say it in the band, Hayat Salah, come alive, more importantly, to the proper worship of Allah. So when the angel of death do come to you, catch you in the right. And Allah say, 